Hey watch friends, we're back with another first look at an all new Zelos model. This is the Thresher World Timer. I say all new because despite the fact that there was previously a Thresher GMT in this borrows at least part of the name, it's so significantly re revamped as we'll see that I think it's an all new model. As far as uh, this video, this is just going to be a quick candid unboxing. This is my first time looking at it. I enjoy uh, sharing in that with all of you. I will, of course, have the full review coming here within a few days, so it will be well ahead of the launch, so no worries there. But with that, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. First, on the outside, you can see this is just the cardboard uh, box, the typical here with the uh, modern Zellos. You can see with their branding there. Then cracking that open inside. This should be, now be familiar, but it's still excellent. So they have on the outside, we have the warranty card, still the metal, uh, metal style warranty card we've been seeing for several years here. And then on the inside, they've gone through several iterations of packaging. Um, however, this is the latest style. And this is their uh, watch roll. This is a three pouch or three slot watch roll. Excellent uh, packaging for it overall. They've had a lot of really good practical ones over the years, but this personally is my probably favorite. I do like the little pod style as well, but this is a hard construction. As I already mentioned, it is a uh, three uh, slot that we'll see here. It's going to pop that open. You can see branding on the outside. And this is kind of like a faux or synthetic leather. All right, so here we go. It looks like we've got the M uh, MOP or Mother of Pearl version of this. Let's see what else we've got in here. Okay, so it looks like it's just some desiccant packs. But as you can see, though, three slots for that. Let's go ahead and set that aside and get to what we're really here to check out. These are just the three, or the uh, leg rather, construction. So all three of those, you can see they just bend. And then for smaller wrists, you're just going to compress that down. They do take a compression uh, over time, so that will be less hard to uh, push. All right, but let's check this out. Let's get these unpeeled here. Oh, man. This is actually, this is my first Mother of Pearl um, Zelos that I've ever checked out. So I've checked out a heck of a lot of uh, various uh, Zelos models over the year. Uh, over the years, rather, and they've done a lot of variations of the Mother of Pearl styling. But one of the things that has become a first for the brand, uh, like many other firsts that they've had, is they actually did, as you can see here, a Mother of Pearl bezel for this as well. So that's really quite gorgeous. This is one of their solid piece Mother of Pearl. So you can see they've done various mosaic patterns and turbines and all kinds of different stuff. But this is in keeping with, I believe it's a black tip, um, that previously had this style with that mother of pearl and man this is absolutely gorgeous i can't wait in the full review i'll of course have indoor outdoor um, footage different angles dial close-ups all that kind of stuff but even in here in just picking up some of this ambient and studio lighting you can see this is absolutely gorgeous the coloration on this you can see they did a mix so it's more of like your blue style mother of pearl and that's true for the bezel as well there's going to be several variations that are available for this and they have a ceramic bezel inserts with the exception of this one, where it's going to be obviously the mother of pearl, as we already talked about, which has an enamel coating. And then there's additionally a dull of venturine, which is another first for the brand. And that has an venturine uh, dial as well as a venturine uh, bezel. And that's also going to be an enamel over that. And when I say first for the brand, um, they've actually had these uh, both before, but I mean first uh, from uh, any uh, in the watch industry. So first for Zelos as a whole. But check this out though. So with this one, you can see they did that light blue um, coloration for that mother of pearl. Really just picks up striking shades. You can see like some fuchsia and stuff coming out in that. Absolutely gorgeous there. But then additionally, as far as the coloration, you can see with this uh, chapter ring here that they have for your GMT, you can see it's white on the bottom. And then they went with like a light like pastelish yellow on the top. And that's a really nice compliment. This really, I think, captures that kind of beach vibe that you naturally get from Mother of Pearl anyways, just obviously because of the fact that it is uh, is Pearl. But then look at that. We've got the date window down at the six o'clock. You can see they didn't go color matched. However, I think it works reasonably well um, with the, uh, because of you're right next to that white chapter ring. So I don't know if they would have gone with a light blue or what since that shifts. I probably would have preferred a light blue from first impression, but we'll check it out more. One of the big things that hugely changes is first, let's go ahead and get, I guess, the basic specs uh, for this. I'll, of course, get this on calipers for um, the uh, full review. But the specs on this, the case they state at 41 millimeters. The lug to lug is still a pretty compact 41 millimeters. And then the movement with being a GMT, this one is a Miyota 9075, which that's going to be like a traveler um, GMT or what have you. We've seen several others. The bezel on this, let's go ahead and check that out. Not a bad click there at all. Very, very little back play. It's not real firm, so it's, it is a pretty easy bezel to turn. 
However, it stays put nicely. I think that's really well dialed in. And as you can see, of course, this is a bi-directional. That's a 48 click bezel. And then again, this is going to be a world timer kind of function, as you can see with that mother of pearl. It still, I think, picks up well with that text for legibility on camera, obviously, as I'm moving this around and those kind of things. Certainly, it can wash out and get some of that pearl essence, which I actually kind of like that because you can still get the good legibility while still getting that pop from the pearl effect. But we'll check this out again with, uh, with more uh, lighting variation. But one of the things that's really cool, and this is a first completely for the brand, uh, not a first for the industry, but first for the brand, they actually have, as you can see from the markers here, they look unique. And the reason for that being, this is using LumaCast, which we've seen some others from Wicked Watch and some, uh, some other brands that have used that uh, and actually reviewed the Pearl Diver from Wicked Watch. But that LumaCast, what that is, is that's actually a block style. So you can see it gets that three-dimensional loom effect and that really seems to pop against this mother of pearl dial so that's really slick but one of the reasons why they do that instead of the traditional applied where it has you know your metal and then it's just kind of painted or filled in there this actually is supposed to have much better performance which that is a huge statement considering the fact that all zellos that i've ever handled have pretty phenomenal loom performance so i'm really excited to get the loom footage of this and we'll of course check that out in depth as well one of the things here that is a big departure from the original is you can see Unlike the prior threshold, uh, thresher, rather, this one is a tie construction. So this one is going to have a mix of blasting as well as uh, your brushing running along there. And again, we'll check that out and get better uh, better detail. But you can see a very slim profile for that. Bezel's a little bit on the thicker side. It does have that box edge crystal. Total thickness, so I believe they only states 11 and a quarter without the crystal, and I think 12.75 with the crystal. But again, we'll get that on caliper. So not, a, not bad there at all. And then you can see you have kind of a reverse curve for the lugs, somewhat similar to like the Mako. And then you have a female uh, end link coupling there. As far as looking at the links, you can see this is an H-link construction. These are going to be all tie. So um, the bracelets as well as the watch itself are titanium. However, it is hardened coated. So that's going to be 1,200 Vickers of scratch resistance. Significantly takes that up, and that's excellent. But we've got an H-link construction. This is held in with screws. This has familiar uh, style clasp here. They've had several variations of this, but as you can see, it's a double pusher, no fold over for that, milled on the inside. But then the biggest thing is it does have this Aurora style. So that is not ratcheting, but it does have toolless micro adjust for it. This is one of my personal favorite um, styles, but I know not everybody loves them. And this is part of the reason why is this does have, as you can see, it deviates from the links with the way that that articulates. However, it looks like just an extension of the clasp. So I like it personally. And I think these are just very sleek, very elegant uh, styles. So I'm a fan of these. But as far as, um, like I said, for overall uh, construction of these, uh, they are all going to be titanium with the exception of they have one special edition that is stainless steel Damascus. And let's check out the case back here. You can see that this has a custom rotor on that and getting horrible lighting with, uh, with that. We'll check this out much, uh, much better, but just giving you an idea there as far as the, uh, the custom rotor with that world map uh, for it. We'll get the sticker and everything off. You can see screw and construction, quick release spring bars for that. See the crown at the four o'clock position for this. Let's just check that out a little more. I don't want to go too long with this since this is just first impressions and in quick look, but let's go ahead and check this out. So here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. As you can see, you know, fits plenty fine uh, on there. No issues with lug, lug overhang or anything along those lines. So that's solid there. And then as far as the launch of this, this is going to be mid-August. Uh, as of time of recording, the exact date is not yet confirmed, but it'll be right around mid-August, uh, slightly before the midpoint from the uh, anticipated, at least. But let's check that out. Get a final look at that dial and that bezel. And then, like I said, do stay tuned for uh, for the full review. We'll get much better footage. But I hope this has, uh, as always, been kind of a, first, uh, a fun first look uh, for you. I always enjoy getting to experience this with you all. I know that I'm, uh, I'm definitely blessed to, uh, to be able to get these uh, opportunities to check these out. And I definitely want to pass that forward to be able to enjoy it with you all. But man, that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really excited to get this outside and get some, uh, some better shots and better footage of this. But most importantly, I'm excited to get this off a of camera and get it on wrist so I can start to get to know this one in preparation for the full review. So do, uh, do definitely stay tuned uh, for that. I hope this has been fun for you and you did like it. If you did, of course, tap that like button. If you're not already, not just for this video, but for all the others that I'll have coming, please do tap that subscribe button. It helps out the channel, of course, uh, as, uh, as we grow there. And then drop me a comment. That helps out the algorithm. Plus, I want to know what you think. Do you like this style? 
if you've already seen the preview of the other color options that are available, there's I think like six or different uh, six or so different ones of this: the Mother of Pearl, the Aventurine, uh, some enamel dials, the Damascus. So you got some different options to choose from. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.